this is T here. This is episode 154 of the End AIDS series that I began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. And uh, I've been doing a video every day since, and I'll continue to do a podcast every day until no one ever dies from AIDS again. Um, I nearly died in 2009, and I've gone over this many times in previous videos, so I'll keep it short today. Um, the intro. Um, it is also Southern Time Productions uh, f funding drive day 120 uh, since I started that January 3rd this year and it is May 3rd 2022 today. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's tired today, tired today. Yeah, at 2.30 in the morning I, I got up to go to the washroom and I checked my phone, checked if I got any emails or whatever. And uh, and I got a response from that, what I suspected was a scammer, but my chief financial officer said, oh, the Barclays Bank, I've worked with them before, you know, just see where it goes, you know, play along. And so I did, and uh, yeah, they sent me this email, this cryptic email, it's like, oh, that's just the British, they talk funny. <laughs> but it did not make sense, lo logical sense, what they're saying in the email, they, they didn't tell me exactly what to do. They attached the the representative of the bank, his uh, or investment arm or whatever, his passport and his his business card that said that he worked for the Barclays Bank, and I think he was suggesting what I got was that he wanted me to send the same like uh, my passport, my my full name, address, and phone number, and so it's basically like identity theft, right? So it's like, but it's got me up. It's like the money's going to come, but there was no term sheet. There was no deal like this. Some rich person's just going to give me all this money. No questions asked. You know, it's like, uh, things that are usually what I've experienced, things that usually sound too good to be true, usually are 99% of the time. Right. So it's like, you have to verify these things. And so. And uh, and so that kept me up all night because I was like in between this hope, I, I got up again uh, a couple hours later. I didn't sleep after that point, and uh, I got up to um, to check it on my laptop, and it's the same thing. It's like this still. It's a little less e uneasy feeling now, but I said I know I won't get back to sleep, and I didn't. I didn't sleep all night, so I took a little nap after I got home from dropping off Aaron this morning. Uh, but I'm still really tired. Um, so today wasn't very productive. Um, but there wasn't really much to do. I had another interview with a potential C chief investment officer. And he's like, these people, these guys, you know, he acknowledged like, you know, if there's a, I call it the river sticks. It's no, the, the river, the Rubicon. It's like crossing the Rubicon. The Rubicon divides the those who have money and those who don't and never the two shall you ever cross the Rubicon right unless you know someone and that's the key if you know someone who's on the other side or know someone who's on the other side then that's a, a way in right and so that was acknowledged today in the meeting and uh, but he said he could do it it would take like two or three months at the earliest you know and so you know that's why but this this Indonesian guy he got back to me he texted me this morning said that we'll talk um, his message was a little hard to understand too but um, I think that was just because he was probably tired um, he said uh, 9 a.m. that's no he also said 9 p.m. so because we were 12 hours difference so um, no 11 hours difference he's 11 hours ahead so I um, I think it's 9 p.m. tonight Toronto time so yeah update to find out what's going on there so that's he thinks he can do it by the end of May so that's that's why I'm more confident this month and excited about what's going to happen. And plan as much as I can until I get the money, right? You can't really do anything until you have money to back behind your ideas. Otherwise, you're just wasting people's time. Because time is money. Anyways, guys, hope you guys are doing well. I don't know if there's any grand message today. I'm just, uh, just chilling. Okay, guys, take care.